We're gonna try this today. We're gonna try mixing two different Campbell's. We're gonna try the Campbell's cheddar and the Campbell's uh, cream and broccoli. And there's a few other things we're gonna put in and see what it tastes like. So we got some baby potatoes here and uh, we're just gonna, we got them all cleaned up. We're gonna chop these up and uh, into cubes, get them into a bowl. And then we're gonna mix a few things in here. So we'll get started by bring out the old prison shank and the cutting board. All the way. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. What do you think? Just kind of cubes? Yeah, cubes think, would be good though. Yeah. Cubes. Yeah. Yeah, we got some like different colors. We got the red ones. We got some uh, purple ones. It's like one of those mix packs. So this recipe didn't even cost that much. We went with the can. I think these are like a dollar nineteen each, and then the potatoes were five ninety nine Canadian. So it was pretty cheap. So I'm trying to keep all these potatoes around and I cut them up to the same size. I like potatoes, no matter how, how they serve though. Preferably mash, kind of. Yeah. Mash or baked really potatoes. I'm kind of person myself though. So, yeah. How, yeah. Do you, how do you guys like the potatoes? Just put it down in the comments there. Yeah, we did this one before. We did it with, uh, what was it, Kraft Cheese Whiz? Yeah, cra yeah cra and, and mushroom uh, soup. Mushroom soup. Yeah. So this one's uh, a little bit, little bit different. So we're gonna try to keep the recipe pretty close, but we're not gonna put the crab cheese with us and also mushroom soup. We're just gonna do the two cans here. Did you know cheese whiz comes in spray cans in the United States? Oh, does it? I don't yeah. know. That's pretty cool. Is yeah. that true, guys? Does it come in the spray cans? Spray the cheese whiz in your mouth? <laughs> spray it anywhere. Spray it on the toast. <laughs> spray it in your hair. Spray it anywhere. How do you know how this is? What would you say, four or five cups of potatoes? Yeah, I were on there. That's where I put it at. I'm just gonna go try to fill up the, fill it up to the top and make sure all the sauce kind of covers it. Yeah. Got a good deal on these potatoes though. They're pretty good though. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, yeah. Got them at no thrills. I think it was five ninety nine. Was it five ninety nine for yeah. a big bag of them? Yeah. They had this weird hot sauce at the uh, store. It was a chicken hot sauce, the chicken flavored one. But yeah, I thought, I thought that was weird. I, I was interested, maybe I should grab some. Yeah, what do you guys should. think? You know, maybe should I grab some for uh, smoking patties and try it out? I'd like to try it for sure. Yeah. I think we should try it. Yeah, I think so too. Hopefully you guys can see this good. We uh, don't have no camera guy today, so we got set up on a tripod there. Yeah. I wouldn't finish all of those potatoes off though. No, probably. Because you're going to need some roof for sauce. About that much right there? I think yeah. good. Okay, so that's what it is there. It looks like... I would say about five to six cups of yeah. baby potatoes. So I think we're gonna do like what we did the same as last time for spices. I'm gonna go in with uh, some Montreal steak spice. Okay, so they sell this in Canada. This is a Montreal steak spice. So I'm gonna do what we did. I think we did a tablespoon. Of, yeah, uh, it was a tablespoon. Yeah, so we'll do a tablespoon of that. Ooh, maybe even a tablespoon. Yeah. We'll let you know if that was too much after. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, yeah. There was it onion powder we put? Yeah, onion yeah. powder. Yeah, so we did onion powder last time, and I think, yeah, it was around a tablespoon. Yeah, it was around a tablespoon, though. No. Yeah, we'll just do a tablespoon of that. So now we're gonna go with the Campbell's uh, cheddar cheese yeah. right here. Go with the can of that. And we'll dump that in there. That's Looks really good, though. It actually does look pretty good. Yeah. Actually, Wouldn't yeah. mind uh, what right. it would taste like as a soup by itself. That's not bad. Yeah. What does that taste like? Try that. Tell me what you think. It tastes like, you know like the 7-Eleven nacho cheese a bit? Yeah. Like, not with the spice. Like, is yeah. That, is that what it's like to Kind of, yeah. That's what it tastes like. Anyways, there's that. We got a can of that in there. And we're going to go with uh, cream, cream and broccoli. Campbell's soup. Yeah. So we'll go one can of that. New can opener. Yeah. I was using the other one for 20 years. The old style. Still playing around with that, and we'll get that in there. I don't know. This one doesn't look as nice, but yeah. Hopefully it tastes good. Probably. You can smell the broccoli in it for sure. Yeah. Can you smell that? Like I yeah. Can smell the oh yeah. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna add some water to this too. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna go by consistency. I'm just I'm gonna start with what, one can of water here. Well, maybe I'll just go half a can. I'll mix it around. Time to get dirty. That looks pretty good though. It's not even yeah. cooked. It smells nice. Yeah. I know last time we went with parsley, but I, I know all out, so yeah. I'm not gonna use that. So we're just gonna go with this. I actually have some parsley. Oh, do you? Yeah, because I was gonna use some and I put some away in a bag, but I never used it. Okay, we can put some in. Yeah, I'll go parsley. grab it. You sure that's parsley? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll just do the parsley after because I think okay. last remember last time we put it in the uh, beginning. Yeah, no, we put it in after as a, as a garnish. Oh, did we? Okay, yeah. yeah, I have to do that. This is looking pretty good. Like I only so far used a half a can of water, but I'd like and maybe just what do you think a little bit more? No, that's enough water. Yeah, so. I think we'll go with that. This guy, so I'm gonna wash my hands up and I'll show you what this looks like. That's what it looks like. So we'll get this covered up. We'll stick this in the oven, three seventy. I don't know, around an hour, hour and a half. I know last time we tried an hour and it was a little bit too yeah, stiff. Yeah, it was a little bit too stiff. So we're gonna go close to an hour and a half and then see how it is. We'll let you know after how long we did and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, so we pulled this out of the oven here. So we did cook it. Uh, we actually cooked it at 370 for an hour and a half. Uh, doesn't look too pretty, but uh, it's all about how it tastes. We're gonna make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, the, other, the other parsley we had there, I don't know what, what it was, but uh, <laughs> we got some real parsley. We're gonna chop that up, we'll garnish it a bit. And then uh, me and Smoke and Patty's here, we'll try it out. Get that nice and chopped up. I got you guys a nice little close up of this too. Before we eat any, I wanna thank everybody for following. Thanks for following though. If you're not following, you gotta click the follow button. All right, let's get a couple spoons here. Have you got spoons? Can we eat by hand, burn our fingers up? <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's try a couple. It's probably piping hot. Yeah. Let okay. me try some of the uh, purple potato though. And uh, some of the olive color. I just want to say sorry to all you guys for all the baby potatoes we killed out there, you know. The vegans don't care. Yeah. It's not too hot? No, not for me though. Hmm. That's not bad. I was a little bit worried about there, like uh, too much uh, Mont Montreal steak spice we put in there. Yeah. Because it we put like a heap in a uh, tablespoon. But it was it's not too salty. No. That's not at all, so go ahead, put a heap in a tablespoon of that in there. But what we're trying to go for is kind of like, uh, when you get like a creamy steak dip, so we're, we're trying to use the Montreal steak spice with these two things, kind of like a creamy steak uh, dip kind of sauce, you know? But uh, uh, it tastes really good, I like it. I was thinking before, and we are talking about this, about putting bacon in it. We should have tried to put some bacon in there. I think bacon. Would be yeah, and some corn and onions. And corn and onions. Yeah, corn and onions. I'm gonna go in there for the, another bite. I just want to try this one more time. But yeah, yeah no, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Go oh, you can double dipper. The people in the comment section are gonna beat you up on that one. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I'll leave it like this. It's good, but yeah, I think he it probably kick it up a notch. Put some. Uh, bacon and onions in there for oh sure. yeah yeah and some corn yeah so anyways don't forget to hit the follow button and see more content we try out a lot of different stuff the sax kitchen you put stuff to the chopping block and see what's good or not don't forget to follow smoking patties here and uh, we'll see you guys next time